There's a fish in here that I want. Look at that paddle fish. Definitely a fish of a lifetime for me. You need any help or anything? I'm in New York, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> balancing because this, this truck is going up and down not twerking this is water water uh, movement dude what are we doing <laughs> i'm so glad kevin didn't come on this trip he would have been kicking out he, yeah he would be i'm done i'm done i'm <laughs> sleeping right here actually that wouldn't be bad to lay here just throw a mattress let's see how these guys are doing so every single one of them looks good we have our big air pump and we also have our oxygen tank that I made sure that it's not going to blow up I and mean, run around everywhere. So this is giving them pure oxygen. That's aerating the water. I think this should make no problem. We got some good sized ones in there too, so oh, yeah. can't wait. I think uh, Big Rich is going to be pretty happy, Big Rich and Josh. And um, we just got to chase this place and it's like 12 o'clock at night. We're still got a five or six hour drive back to Ohio, so we're going to be completely dead. But I want to show you guys what Chase does and what tank that he built for himself, which um, I actually saw it on Instagram and it looked really, really cool. But I think the tank is leaking. He's going to have to figure out what to do with his fish. You need me to catch it, bro? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you want to drive? Yeah, drive. At this so point, it's empty. I'm, I think my soul is leaving my body. I'm just going straight. That's all I'm doing. Chase, what made you set this up, bro? So I always had a dream of having these monster fish. You know, I'd watch River Monsters um, with Jeremy Wade. I was like, I got to have these fish. But, you know, you go to PetSmart, Petco. It's kind of, you know, our really only local stores around here. And you you'd see like your 10 gallons, your 55 gallon, your 75 gallon tank. And I was like, how do you keep, you know, a three, four foot, five foot fish in a 75 gallon tank, you know? So I went online, you know, got in a bunch of Facebook groups and I was like, I'm just gonna try to do this myself, you know, DIY. And we've had our challenges and we still have our challenges, but it's a working process. And, you know, every day you learn something new and it's always something, but gotta love it at the end of the day. So you built this pond out of plywood Yes, sir. And, and you uh, put a coat on it. Yes, sir. So it's two ponds total, 35 or 35 each? So it's 35 each. Um, they're completely symmetrical, but they're actually two different filtration systems, you know, just in case we had, you know, one take with, or, you know, some take over one tank, we could treat it and switch the fish and vice versa. So right. exactly uh, identical filtration on the back of the tanks. And, you know, it's, it's really worked out well because if, you know, if we have a problem with one tank, we can switch them over here. And, I like it how you did it though, because on the videos it looks really nice and bright and, and you know good looking tank. So let's go see. But what what is this warehouse? So this is the car wash warehouse actually. So it's full of equipment. Um, do all kinds of stuff in here. But I was luckily. Sorry, your dad owns a car wash. Yes, sir. And he allowed you to take a space in there. He did. Go, he did. See, that's a good dad and, right there. Yeah, and so the biggest thing was the you know in, in the winter in Kentucky you know it gets down in you know the the teens and so we had to insulate a certain room in the warehouse so we built this room basically just for the fish and for the reptiles you know to come in the future so that's how you know crazy people think alike because you know you, you don't just build a fish tank now he'll build a room for the fish tank for the fish oh you wait wait to get married just wait to get married <laughs> i'm gonna be in trouble yeah i gotta i gotta quit buying so many fish you know yeah so in here you'll see let me tell you the secret come here, come here. the secret is you never tell them the truth price but the problem is, if one day we die and they sell our fish, they're gonna sell for what we tell them they cost. So they got good in beds, you know. So, so with the, uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the, I you were talking about the platinum paddlefish. But for the no, no, girlfriend, no. I was like, I was like, no, no, yeah, I want you, to tell them the true price. When you get married, don't tell your wife how much you're paying for the fish. It's about I got a good discount on it, right? You got a good deal. Hopefully she won't watch the video. So yeah, I hope not. Cause I'll be in some trouble. <laughs> Hopefully she didn't find out, but. Yeah, so as you can see in here, here's the entire room we built. Um, we've got all kinds of equipment and stuff everywhere just because we're, it's been a process. You know, we started last year and as you can see, there's water over the floor and 
So you know one, one of them is leaking right now. One of them leaking right now, unfortunately. You don't know from where. Don't know from where. But you've ran good for how long? So it's ran good for about six months. Um, you know, we, we obviously didn't expect it to leak, but we had some problems with the people that came in an epoxy that actually in the, in the beginning. And, and so that, everything that right got there. us, yeah, so that got us to a bad start, you know, but that's a part of doing it yourself. You know, it's, there's so many challenges you have to overcome, but you learn a lot along the way, you know. Next time if I did this, I might do it a little differently, and if I could give other people advice on this stuff too, because we, we kind of went through a lot of the challenges, and we're still going through challenges, so. So what's your goal with this one? You, you're thinking about, might take it down, build something bigger? So uh, my goal with this is hopefully, you know, if we can't get something to work out, you know, we can't fix the ponds, Really like the tank that Rod had, you know, at the old store. So oh, the might have to look at the twelve thousand gallon. Oh, Maybe we really? stick it right in. I think it looked pretty good. I mean, off. what do you think? Who, who's this guy? So this uh, is my full time helper. He can introduce himself, but he uh, he's a lifesaver uh, here. Yeah, uh, my my name is Bodie Kelly. I'm uh, at Colossal Exotics um, on Instagram, and I've been doing keeping fish mostly my whole life. But really, the past six years have been, you know, keep it. Keeping big tanks like uh, like helping him with these tanks. I've got tanks of my own. So did you guys meet before or you met through fish? Met through my girlfriend's sister. So they went to school together mm -hmm. and my girlfriend's sister was wearing one of my shirts that I just made. You know, I made like a handful of them uh -huh. and it had Monster Aquatic Fish on the back, which is like my aquatic brand on whatever on Instagram and stuff. And so he, I guess they conversed and was like, He's like, I, I want, I want to he know lit, I mean, as far as proximity, he's probably one of the closest people to here and knowledge for his age is... How old are you? I mean, I'm 16. Like no he, way. No. It's Dude, unbelievable. So he he, he, he does everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What do I eat? I, they didn't eat what they're eating. But I could tell this is a good kid because when I was supposed to walk in, where's the bird, bro? Show the bird. You oh, fed him to the airplane? No, no, no. You no, fed no, him no, to no, the no, airplane? No, it's, it, the it's, in my, got him. it's It's in my car. I'll grab him real quick. Uh, he's, saving, he's saving a bird as soon as we walk in. So he didn't want to show the bird. <laughs> Him, but he's a lifesaver. I mean, he does everything for me. If I have ever have a leak, I call I call him, and he'll be here in five minutes, whether he's at school or at work. He'll come here no matter what. And he, I mean, he's so hands on with these fish. It kind of scares me some days. Cause I'll come in here and he's in the pond with all the stingrays, you know, hand feeding him and whatnot. And he, he, uh, he has a big heart for animals. So he's been like it's, a lifesaver. It's for not me. every day we found people like that. Yeah, he's know, so. he's one in a million. He's so special. So lock him up in here. Lock him up. I know we need him full time, <laughs> man. We need that. Need to get the YouTube going, and that way get them full time. But. I know, right? So this is a little sad, but hopefully, don't don't show my shoes, bro. Look at this. This is my paddle fish shoe. <laughs> oh. So what, what's the story of that bird, man? Well, while I was waiting for these guys to get the paddle fish, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm here outside the warehouse, and I see this little thing hopping around on the ground. I'm like, well, what's that? And I go over, and it's a little fletchling that um he's got a bloody wing you can't really tell right now but when i found him his wing over here was kind of bloody and he's just not able to fly and so i i went ahead and grabbed him and I, i'm actually a licensed rehabber uh wildlife rehabber here in kentucky and so i'm basically going to take him home uh get him get him fed see if he can, he does a little bit better and then i'm gonna release him, release him out see he could have just kicked him and not worried about it but that's how you know you're good people bro oh, thank you thank you save the little bird what are you gonna name him uh, I named him. I named him Larry Birdstein. <laughs> <laughs> you already got a name for it. You gonna be able to keep it? He was oh, ready. Yeah. Watch. Then you're gonna release him. Be like, Larry, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, he's a little strong one. He's been. He, he's a funny little thing. He's just been hopping around here. You know. That's well, good. He's, when, he's you, good. when you see somebody saving animals, no matter what animal it is, that's when you know he's a good person. So. Congratulations, bro. You're a good thank, person. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Bodie's got a little a bit of everything, man. He's got you. possums and uh, fish, snake. Have you seen the retake? So he he brings the snake. I saw over that. Here. I thought that was the craziest thing. That's his right here. Yeah. Ten foot. He'll put the snake in the tank, let it soak. It craziest thing ever. <laughs> Are you gonna? Um, I'm gonna go put him back yeah, in. Bring right, your bring your dude. There's a fish in here that I want, and I eventually I'll probably get it from him. We gotta work something I mean, out. Who's a better guy than Rod to give it to? So. No, 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 dude, you're the paddlefish guy. Look at this. Look at that paddlefish. So that is classified as what? Pretty much a platinum, right? That's what we're guessing. So it's about, you get about maybe one or two of them out of 100,000 eggs, maybe, if you're lucky. So this fish is three to four years old. It's Typically, they don't make it past six inches just because they're, you know, their coloration, they don't do as well um, in the wild. And they typically have, you know, 
kind of gives them that crazy color, but it, uh, definitely a fish of a lifetime for me. I mean, we spent so much time trying to catch it, so much planning, but it was, it was all worth it in the end because we caught it, we sorted through all the regular paddle fish to get them, and it's been a dream fish that I didn't even know that I needed. It makes your, all, all your hard work worth it, right? Yeah. Almost as soon as you come across something like that. So this is definitely rare. I think it's amazing that you were able to get it and keep it alive. What really blows my mind is how you're able to keep it in the, it's, it's hot as balls in here. It's so hot, man. I got, the, I got fish, the hoodie on and everything. Yeah. I'm about ready to pass and, out, but. And, and that fish is doing fine. Can you, what, what do they eat? So we feed them, we'll feed them actually uh, like a high protein uh, floating pellet. But you'll see if we, if you get a you know, shot of them feeding in here, he'll actually filter feed. Um, I don't know if it's a natural instinct, but I don't know if he's even getting any food, but it's just like an instinct, you know, and they think that... Once they smell it. Yeah, I guess they think that they're getting something, but, but he'll eat pellets, you know, just like, uh, you know, most fish do. Um, they'll just come up to the top and kind of swoop, but they'll also filter feed, which is super cool to see, you know. I mean, he looks fat, he looks healthy. Um, I think he's definitely the, hard, the, the rarest thing in here. You got some cowberries, some oscars, some nice group of stingrays. Do they have dip right here or no? We're, we're working on it. This is kind of the first, you know, this last six months is kind of the first they've been together. Um, this is, there's, each of these rays are kind of from a different, um, breeder. Different breeder. Um, these are actually from Kevin right here. These, this pair, it's a three, three or four year old pair right there. And that's so, a big mama right there. Yeah, that's big mama. So <laughs> that broke our metal net when we had to move it from pond to pond. It shattered it too. Yeah, when I helped him move some of the big ones, he was, was insane. And we had to clip, clip there with the barbs. It's insane. good skin. We almost got we almost got knocked a few times. You know, we'll feed them, we won't look, and they're swinging that barb and trying to stab you. But yep. overall, you know, stingrays are obviously one of our favorites. It's a beautiful albino. You got an albino stingray right there, right? You see it? Yep. And then you got a, a really really short body red tail. That guy, he's a real short body. He's on like, this side. He's like. <laughs> and he's he's quite closing on two or three years old with me, so. So yeah. two, two, three years old in this tank, it should be at least like close to three feet already. You know, think. and look at him. And he eats more than, I mean, he'll, he'll eat himself to death if we let him. You know, I, I know that's a big thing with short bodies that their, their organs are kind of not, not they should be, yeah. you say that they're not always, you know, normal because they're a little bit stubby, but. I have two, they're, they, they live for a long time and they're big. So I think if you so cool. treat them well, you should make it just like every other fish. Uh, but yeah, you're right. They're so short and compact that they have to like watch how much you feed and some more issues. what they do. Yeah, and he'll swell up like like right now. If we fed him, you know, he'd be like a bowling ball. He swells up so big and he's like a tank. You know, he's like a tank moving through and he, uh, which is good though that he's that size because he can't catch the other fish as easy. So you know, normal right. red tail, normal red tail, they can kind of be caught the ball right now. Yeah. yeah. So we used to have 50 koi in here that I used to cycle the tank. And there's one left, so you see what they did to him. So he can't catch the last one. Mr. Mr. Arapaima was probably tearing him up too, but this yeah. Arapaima is beautiful, dude. I like the color. We just got one like that, super light, beautiful fish. Yeah. The Arapaima is an interesting fish because interesting fish because if you put them in a darker setup, they're gonna turn super dark. But if you put them in a lighter setup, they'll turn golden. I, I, love, said, I love that red, man. That red is so cool. I said it on another video. I when I first started, I bought in um, golden arapaimas from Peru. Paid an arm and a leg for them, and they were fake. They all turned. They, they put them in, in white tanks with the bright light for a good amount of time until they turned super golden, and they sell it as gold. Sell it as gold. Probably two yeah. or three thousand bucks, you know, and they get their money. But so you learn. learn. After a while, like, you learn. Yeah, but I'm I'm super pleased with him, you know. And, He's a, kind of the kind of the tank boss, as you say. You know, I, all the food gets to him first, and then everyone else gets theirs. You know, once the he's So, no, I think yeah. you should definitely keep uh, the battle fish, keep him healthy. This is the tank that's leaking. You don't know from where. So, I just came in one day, and I actually posted on my Instagram. But I literally came in, and there was like six inches of water in here, and I'm like freaking out. You know, like I walk in here, and everything was fine the, the day before, and. I come in here and you know a lot of my fish aren't doing well. Luckily, I caught it in time, but you know I lost my albino arowana that was three years old and no drop, I like perfect, no missing scales. Like you know it, it broke my heart. And we think that it was a combination of the glass leaking and also we had a pump. We had this internal pump going, and so when it when the pump burned up, it created a back siphon and siphoned all the water out of the thing. 
And so, you know, it's definitely a lesson learned. And it, uh, but it sucks, you know, with the leak because it's like it's two different combinations of stuff. So that's why we just have it down. And this this tank was supposed to be for uh, actually a triple digit catfish. So it was going to be a hundred pound um, blue catfish. Really? If we could find one, but you know, until then, until we can fix it, I mean, it's. It's what it is. I, don't, I don't know if it's something you can just fix it, catch it, or you have to like redo it. You know, we've had we've had a lot of issues, but I don't know if it's because of the, the weight. Because um, when we built, I mean, you can see how this is there's four or five boards here, man. And so, you know, we tried to build it as sturdy as we could, but we have we've had a lot of issues with the, the epoxy actually cracking, which we didn't you know really plan on because we did it we did it to the double the thickness that they had suggested, which you know we didn't we anticipated it for all you know in a, in the in a perfect world, this thing would have all worked out fine, you know. Both tanks would have been running, all the fish would have been in here, but sometimes but it doesn't always work out that way. When it comes to a lot of large tank, you're always going to run into some type of problem, you know. Um, what I what I would think, what is this made of? Plastic? This is actually, there's a... This is to hold that? So this is a, this is a I don't know why the carpenter decided to do this. This is like a, a piece of iron that runs through here. Um, so there's a metal piece of metal. Metal piece of metal. metal. This is just covering it just so it didn't rust out. This is to hold the, the front and back. So it's to hold this piece right here, and I don't know why, because it's all, it's actually all in the ground. In the ground. Um, but you know what, DIY, like, there's not, there's builds like this out there, but there's not a ton of this size, you know, so we were kind of going out on a limb um, as to what we thought would work, and so it was mainly like an experiment, and you know, it's, it's kicked our butt, but. Well, maybe the next one will be better or bigger. Bigger, maybe a, maybe the twelve thousand. Oh, maybe, hey, 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 maybe the twelve thousand. I see something moving over there that we might talk about that. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. But we gotta do, we gotta redo all the paint and stuff in here, and the floors just have been moving tanks. The moisture's crazy. It is it's hot. hot it's hot in here. It's but we got a lot hot in the market. Yeah, place. it's very hot. But we got a little guy back there, so. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go check. So the filtration's in the back too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's that's still working process that's too. You know, here. those ultimates kick butt. The old ones are pretty good. The only thing is like you have to backwash a lot, otherwise the food will get caught get nasty up in there. Yeah. Which we if you back we uh one time we didn't backwash and we cooled the tank and it was nasty water, you know. Mm -hmm. The water comes to here, through all that stuff, ceramic, big lung fish over here. I, I, some might say the biggest lung fish, but uh, <laughs> hey, I'm sure, hey, I'm sure hey, that'll hey. be debated. Hey, <laughs> how big is he? He is, I've measured him a couple times, and he, I tend to get about 32 to 33 inches. If it's 30, my, mine was 32 in the video, and then somebody beat me with an albino at 36. With an albino, bro. How big was Rich's? No, no, Probably 20, 20 inches. Little guy. Rich yeah, is little, uh, little a little fish, you know. Yeah, but wasn't the albino on a marble? Because it's the West African. I didn't show any, any markings, though. You know, but, but that might be because of the albino. Yeah, 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 true. But that thing was to be, I, I wanted to buy. It was in oh, Brazil. Yeah. But uh, he didn't want to, you know, he wanted a lot of money for it. So big, big I got to start my only fans account. I always say that. <laughs> Sell your feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we, actually, we actually had, so we had all this coin in here and we had, someone was someone wanted to come buy some. So I put him in here for like a day and I was like, you know, they'll be fine. I didn't think he would, t came in here and like they all, the all the koi were in half. <laughs> like he's just snapping in half. And he's he's never showed any aggression as far as I know. No, they're usually not hunters. No. They're, they're they're scavengers, you know. So he you know eats pellets and stuff. But when those koi got in here, man, I mean there were eight eight inch ten inch koi and he cut them in half, split them right in two. So uh, I think people that would hand feed these things are stupid. <laughs> no, we, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we right did here. we did a video where we actually blindfolded ourselves and. Oh, I remember that video. Yeah, that yeah. was a good one. <laughs> Your well, he'll come up. I don't know if you're going to but he, does he go in for air or is it to, he comes it's like up he yawns, air. you know, when he opens his mouth, he's got those weird looking teeth. No, my buddy Lanny, he, I, I, I was, I was trying to be smart. I closed my hands like this and I put the fish here and when he, he, I felt him, I pulled my hand really fast. When you're blindfolded, you know, you don't, no, you don't no. know what's going Everything's on. scary when you're, you can't see. So Lanny, Lanny left his finger like this. So when the, the lungfish bit, it bit him all the way here. So it had teeth marks. Stitches and no, he didn't get stitches. He bled. He bled a little bit, but messed him up. It wasn't Same like he, he exaggerated a little bit. You know, the only time I've, I've seen him get aggressive is when I'm trying to either have to move him or have to do something with him, and I get him in the net, 
and he, he'll hit that net, the metal bar on the net. Oh my god, it sounds like a freaking like yeah. firecracker going yeah. on. Hit, it's oh. crazy. I would not want to get that by now. No, no, not, definitely not. not. <laughs> yeah, so here's, you know, we got our FA. These are just. FX6? Yeah, we don't have these videos. They're just for backup, you know, they're always just, in case. just handy. And these are, you know, we got an ultimate sphere. They, they've UV worked light. great so far. Yeah, the UV light. I mean, super happy with Who them. did the plumbing? So we had a local plumber that actually does work for my uh, my grandfather. He came and did all this. Um, Looks pretty good. He did, a, he did a pretty good job. Uh, really, no leaks, which is amazing. So if this was leaking and that was leaking, be a lot more uh, problems. But super happy with how we did it. And, you know, maybe in the future I'd do it differently. But keeps the fish healthy. And, I mean, the ammonia is zero. So can't complain with well, that. I, I know how it feels to have a tank leaking. I, I had that before. So to just don't take, don't lose the... You know, it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Frustrating. it's like right. after all that work, you know, but now just keep going, man, because it's worth it. Like, even when you come across something like that, it makes everything worth it, you know. Such a special fish. No, I wish, I wish we could get a big group of them, man. So if you guys want to see that fish grow, follow him on his channel. I'm going to try to push him to keep his channel going. He's got an Instagram account, where we're going to put it right here for you to see. So you want to follow him. Last circle over there is a baby fly river turtle. So these guys are starting to come in now with, with paperwork. So they're back in the day they were allowed, and then for a while they weren't allowed anymore. And now they're coming in with Sidey's paperwork. So awesome, awesome turtle. This is like a mini Sheila. Yeah, I love it. And so Rich has actually helped us, because um, when we got him in, you know, I had a little bit of fungus, and you can see some on the back. So we've been constantly, you know, just it's been a process of just dry, dry docking him and stuff. But he's, I mean, he eats and super happy with it. Looks pretty healthy. Yeah, he always, you know. He, he, as long as he's eating, you know, and he's active, we're, we're super happy. But it just, you just want to keep a close eye on him just to make sure. I mean, it's not a cheap turtle, you know, that's for no, sure. No, that's for sure, and yeah. With, especially with the papers, too. Um, that's what makes them the yeah, money go up. Yeah, just, that's all it is, really. Yeah. So, I love him. But I can take him out if you want to, want to see him real quick. I haven't seen a little one in a while. A little, little baby. Yeah. So this guy, I've had him for about a year, and I would say, I would say he's probably near now on about two years old. He sees it. So this is what you're so talking cute. about? Yeah, so you can see all this stuff on the back right here. Mm -hmm. Just a little, you know, shell dention. So they get this fungus when they're little. And it's super common. You just got to treat it. You know, a lot of people treat it with salt and um, whatnot. But Believe it or not, what I've done with Sheila up. before, um, she had some markings from probably from the fish biting her and on her tail too. Mm -hmm. I literally put her in salt water. Really? Yeah. And everything, I'm like all, all the, the, the extra crap, the, you know, stuff like this, everything just fell Clean right off. So when we, so the, we at first had her in the 500 gallon, which I thought she would do amazing. You know, we had little pups in there, but the pups were actually picking on her. And I was worried of, you know, it's kind of a tough mix with anything with the fiber. Because at any, any moment, you know, he's a turtle, he can bite. But, yeah. but I kept him with a lot of stuff before and he had no issues, but at any day that could change, you know. So the rays were picking on him, the arapaima, the little arapaima were picking the, on him. Usually it's the other way around. Usually they will pick on the rays. Well, the rays will yeah, pick which on I him. thought, you know, so I was, we were monitoring like so closely, but the rays, the little guys were picking on him and he was letting it happen and he would just sit there and they would just kind of bite on the shell and so we pulled him out, put him in the 75, you know, just temporary. Just for now. We've been putting salt and Rich and Josh have been helping me out a lot with him over the last six months. So. But he, he eats and... He looks he healthy. Well, I think he's, he's going to be fine. So, one day he'll be as big as Sheila. Right. Hey, Sheila's pretty girl. old. Sheila's pretty old. But you guys saw it. This is the tank. Hopefully, you can get it back up and running. Um, if any, you need help with anything, I, I, I never built a tank like this. Actually, I did. I just didn't. I used a liner, so yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, do this and a liner would. Fit, I mean, a liner would work in here. The only thing is the panels would be right. kind of hard to do. Which you I love the panels. You I mean, gotta you have the, the panels. Fish. Yeah, you gotta have the panels. But, so maybe I'll. Uh, I'll think about yeah. the twelve. You know, I need all the help we can get, but the twelve thousand would be. We'll work that something be out. Um, I because I want to build the bigger tank than that tank is just sitting there too. So if you can use it. We can work something out. Great. Um, I'm not gonna take the paddle fish for it, I promise. You can you can keep it. But make sure you show everybody because that's a very, very rare fish and you're um, the only one that got it. Man, I feel so blessed, I guess, that uh, that we finally got it, but you know, it's cool to see it in a tank, you know, and eventually it'll probably go out to like either it'll probably, probably be sent to you. So it'll be up in New York probably long term, so Dude, you put that, that you, you put that paddle fish in my place, I'll put your name on the wall. <laughs> Get a <laughs> up there like go up far. <laughs> So let's feed these fish, and then we gotta get back on the road because we have a long night ahead. Yeah, right. And Matt is not driving because I wanna make sure we get back alive. 
So <laughs> you're good. You're good. No, don't don't want to hit any uh, bridges. Yeah, or deers. Dude, deer. dude, dude, they're dude, so this, bad around here. Bro, I saw. I must have seen like 30 dead ones on the side of the road. Yeah, they're building roads and just, just hopping and hopping over your truck and it's uh gotta watch out, you, man. You, you can't really do it when you're moving that truck. You can't do anything. You, you flip. So you just have to paddle fish all over the floor. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep going, man. Sorry, deer. <laughs> These guys, did you feed them that today or not? Nope. So these, they should come up. You might be able to get a cool shot. I don't know if you've seen on the, the, this guy will definitely come up here. And he'll almost put his put his disc over the edge and grab the food. The ray? The ray, yeah. The, um, the ray. I've got a lot of them like trained to come to the top. Cool shots. This guy's. Which one's your favorite? I have to say the Arapaima is probably my favorite, but my second and most definitely have, has to be the uh, Perun shark, the, the black ear Perun. Uh, after all the bass get, it takes them, I gotta get all them fed before I feed really. Uh, them and the Arapaima, I have to get them fed before. The race are going crazy, they'll start swimming around. And, and Try throwing throw it on this side here so he can, he can film it for you. Oh, you see it? Uh, this is five Look at here. the ray coming up. Yeah, what? Do you have any more blockers? Is it? Uh, I think we might have another bag. See. I, have, I have a bunch in my house. Let's see who's gonna get that one. The other way, but the other way is right behind you. Peacock's oh, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at the ray. You get it? There we go. Oh, what's that? Oh man, there we go. Wow. Look at the size of this ray. Did you ever get your finger by mistake or no? Uh, there's been a couple times. Yeah, I, I actually get in here and clean it sometimes, and uh, I'll, I'll hand feed them in there. And sometimes I like to come on and get my toes. That's 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 real fun when they do that. They're, they're, they they figure it out that it's not food, but it, it takes them a second. It's pretty pretty funny. They never got me hard. One time when actually when I had to move then from that tank to this tank when it uh when it leaked, one of the rays it it was about that close to. It, like actually stabbing me and it didn't actually get get in but scratched me and oh my god it burned that, right that yeah. venom oh my god you no know, it's terrible. not the venom right so i found really? out from kevin mm -hmm. what it is is this the the slime coat has a lot of bacteria mm -hmm. and that will burn the crap That's out of you yeah. when i was doing that the same thing one of them brushed my arm bro and burned like the whole arm would just burn yeah. so that's what it is that the slime coat but we got yeah, I got a buddy who actually got stabbed by one. He had to get 16 stitches all up in his arm. Really? He was doing a water change and had his hand in the tank messing with him. Got him for 16 stitches. Just a little guy, too. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. That, that, the big girl should come up and eat out the top of me. I want to I I see, see the, the graveyard, too, Rod. Oh, the graveyard? The graveyard. I want to see the paddle fish open his mouth. Yeah, when we did like 20 in here, it was crazy. What did you do with the rest of them? Well, I stole them and let them go in my house. So we have, we have like a five acre pond there, a little fast and then on. Go a little more. Yeah. yeah. You can see like, look, see, you see the corner of the yeah. epoxy? So you can suck like, just, the epoxy shouldn't come out like that. So I don't know if it's the people we use or what. Or, or the brand. Yeah. No, or yeah, the brand. But we had some guys come from New York and what they did was they did these ponds, right? They'll just like this, perfect. They didn't mix up, they didn't mix the product. They said that they, like, they claim like, oh, they're this people, they do aquariums for a living. And the guys did it, and they left, got out of town, and that's what, it was never dry. So they said that they would pay, they would, they would charge me to come back and fix it. Brother, thank you for taking us to the farm. Thank you for thank showing you us the beautiful fish in the tank. If you need any help with anything, I'm in New York, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I appreciate it, though, I appreciate it. But come to New York, come yes. check out the 12,000. We'll, we'll work something out, all right? You guys, please follow his channel. I want to push him to get his videos going. Got gotcha, you, man. Sure. He could be the editor, cameraman. Yeah, he can do it all, man. Listen, through more eggs, bro, it's like editing for dummies. Trust me, I used it. So yeah. we'll put his information in there. Make sure you follow, like your stuff, because you're going to see that bad boy over there grow. And hopefully one day I can buy it for him for super cheap. I'll see you guys next time.